Hey guys I am Nekisha from Canada Immigration TV. In this video I'm going to talk about What does Budget 2022 mean for immigration in Canada? If you're interested in learning more about this topic, please watch this video all the way to the end. For the most recent immigration news and updates, please like and share to this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button icon of the notification bell. Let's get started with the video. Christia Freeland, Canada's finance minister, has just released the country's first budget since the federal election in September 2021. The budget lays out the Government of Canada's expenditure and income priorities. It is one of the most important announcements made by the federal government each year since it defines the state of the economy and fiscal health of Canada, as well as the government's policy priorities. Budget 2022 lays out a number of immigration initiatives that the Canadian government intends to pursue, including Express Entry The federal government wants to change the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act, IRPA, to allow the Immigration Minister to employ ministerial instructions to help pick individuals who best match Canada's labour market demands. The federal government has not provided any additional information about the changes it intends to make. Immigration Levels Plan – Canada will spend $2.1 billion over five years and $317.6 million in continuous fresh funds to support its efforts to process and settle over 400,000 new permanent residents each year. Temporary Foreign Worker Program – TFWP – The government plans to spend $29.3 million over three years to develop a trusted employer model for the TFWP, which will reduce red tape. Repeat employers who satisfy the highest requirements for working and living conditions, rights, and pay in high demand fields will be eligible for the model. In the coming year, more information will be released. In addition, the federal government plans to spend $48.2 million to build a new simplified TFWP for agricultural and fish processing employers. It also plans to spend $64.6 million over three years to boost capacity for processing employer applications while adhering to service standards. Support Services for Immigrants and Visitors to Canada Budget 2022 proposes spending $187.3 million over five years and $37.2 million on an ongoing basis for Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC to improve its ability to respond to the growing number of inquiries and to invest in the technology and tools needed to better serve its clients. Canadian Citizenship Canadian Citizenship The government plans to alter the Citizenship Act to allow for automated and machine-assisted processing, as well as the safe and secure collect use of biometrics, in order to accommodate increased volumes of citizenship applications. If you have not subscribed please like this video and subscribe.